हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट 2013 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर वन मार्क दे आर आस्किंग व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डज नॉट रिप्रेजेंट एक्स नॉर ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई नाउ यू वेरी वेल नो फॉर्मूला फॉर एक्स नॉर इज एक्स वाई प्लस एक्स बार वाई बार सो ऑप्शन ए एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंट्स एक्स नॉर ओके दिस वन कैन नॉट बी द आंसर सो लेट्स एनालाइज ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन बी एंड ऑप्शन सी आर ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंटिंग एक्स एक्स नॉर वाई ऑन बी ओके यू कैन जस्ट सी दिस फॉर्मूला इन माई थेरी लेक्चर्स आई प्रोवाइडेड यू टू फॉर्मूलाज वन फॉर एक्स एक्स नॉर वाई एंड वन फॉर एक्स एक्स और वाई सो द फॉर्मूला फॉर एक्स नॉर इज रिटर्न हेयर फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन सी एक्स एक्स नॉर वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट एक्स और वाई ऑल्सो इट्स इक्वल टू एक्स एक्स और वाई कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो बी एंड सी ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंट the x nor gate anyways let's analyze these two option a there's no doubt about it it's the formula for x nor okay let's analyze b and c so option b is x x or y complement x x or y complement let us expand it you will get x complement y complement plus y double complement x which is x bar y bar plus x y which is x x nor y okay so option b represents the x nor of x and y b cannot be the answer similarly you can prove option c also represents the x nor of x and y so i've used the formula uh, let me write the formula also a x or b is equal to a bar b plus b bar a okay this is the formula that i've used for expansion so formula for x or is this and formula for x nor is this okay x y plus x bar y bar anyways this option d does not represent x nor okay what does this actually represent you can just verify it it will be representing the xor okay xor of x and y you need to memorize these formulas so it is x complement xor y complement x complement xor y complement let's open uh, or expand this xor you will get a complement b plus b complement a okay this is equivalent to x xor y so option d actually represents the xor of x and y but we want x nor okay so which of the following does not represent x nor that is option d which is your answer now let's also prove it in one other way i prefer that method because that's more intuitive so we'll not discuss this one this is a well known fact option b says x x or y complement okay now x or gate outputs one when both the inputs are different on 0 1 or 1 0 it will output a 1 if both the inputs are same 0 0 or 1 1 it will output a 0 okay the x nor gate is completely opposite if the inputs are same it will output 1 if inputs are different these two cases it will output a 0 okay now let's analyze how this one is x nor say we are inputting same values of x and y when x and y are same the values that we input that are same in that case x and y complement will be different okay because x and y were uh, were same but complementing one of them will make them different now xor on different inputs will output a one okay let me just write it the values that we provided of x and y were same okay let's see what will be the output of this because the values of x and y were same 
x and y complement will be different and xor on different inputs outputs are one so on same x and y we got output is equal to one let's analyze what will happen if they are different if x and y are different x and y complement will be same okay so if x and y are different in that case the inputs to this xor will be same okay because x and y are different x and y complement will be same now on same inputs the output is going to be zero in this case the output is zero now you analyze this and try to conclude is it x nor or is it x or see on same inputs you are getting one x nor also outputs one on same inputs so this one can be linked with these two okay and on different inputs you are getting zero x nor also is similar on different inputs it will give a zero okay so this one is a x nor gate similarly you can analyze this option c so we have already seen that answer is option d just bear with me for two more minutes let's discuss it in one more way for xor and xnor gate we just need to know this fact that are the inputs different or are they same okay like we don't need to know if the inputs are 0 1 or 1 0 by just knowing this much that they are different we can declare the answer in both the cases answer is or the output is 1 okay so in option d if i input different numbers x and y are different so x complement and y complement will still be different okay that means complementing does not have much effect with respect to this gate okay had there been some other uh, operator this complementing would have uh, effect but in case of xor if both the inputs are complemented at same time that won't have much effect let's discuss if both of them are same that means the value that we input x and y they are same what will happen x complement and y complement will also be same okay that means still there is no effect because if the values were same they were 0 0 the output should be 0 but what complementing did is it made the inputs 1 1 but still the output is unaffected okay so it does not have much effect so these bars they can also be neglected okay